Ah, that is good. Well, I'm sitting outside the Six Sisters and a Pigeon Cafe here in the main street of Lakes Entrance in the heart of Gippsland. And this is my brand new best friend, Ivan New. Now, Ivan, you were sitting here this morning having a coffee with the missus. Can you explain to the people at home what happened next? Well, Paul, you're dead right. I was sitting here and I spotted yourself and Danny walking up the street. And because I'd gone fishing a couple of days ago, I knew where the big brim were. I thought I'd let you in on the secret and I called you over and Bob's your uncle. Next minute, you're inviting me to go fishing, so I'm very excited. Now, you weren't too keen at first, but I saw no. a bit of a nudge from the old girl. Yeah, no, she encouraged me to go, which was good. Good so. work. That's why we need women in our lives, because they always make us do the things we need to do. Now, what sort of fish might we catch? Uh, hopefully there's some big brim in the jetties over near the barrier landing, and we got a few the other day, but uh, we might have the secret bait there. We've got live prawn, so... Hopefully they'll cooperate and we'll get some nice ones. Well, Ivan, the fact of the matter is it's not that I like you, it's that you told me you had a big bucket of live prawns. <laughs> yeah, live I, prawns? Are you live serious? Live prawns. Yeah, look, we went out last night, it's prone on Eastley, and the water's a bit ripply, but we managed to get a couple of dozen and hopefully they'll do the trick. Cheers, mate. Let's hope we get a few, Paul. I've known him for three minutes, but I'm loving his work. Paul, we'll go up here and right through the middle of the weed. I'll yep. stick the net in and we'll see how we go. Mate. Your speed? Oh, just nice and slow, nice and steady about that speed you're going and we're Perfect. away. Well, I'm doing the hard job, of course, here, Ivan. <laughs> now, you're looking for a particular type of weed doing this? Yeah, it's ribbon weed, Paul. It's um, a lot of real spongy weed. They don't tend to get in that. Yep. You get pipefish, which you obviously got to put back. But um, now this is a good weed here. Yep. The other weed tends to clog your net up and they're not as prolific through it. Right, they were just about through, Paul. That's it, mate. Okay. How'd we go? Oh, there's a few there. Oh, jeepers. That's, that's a fair lot of shrimp. Oh, that mate, is that an average catch? Yeah, that's, yeah. As I say, you go through twice and you got, you got heaps. Ample, that is amazing. Well, we've got some more bait. Things are looking pretty good. Well done, mate. Here's just some of our catch. A crab, some pipefish. Look at that one, two, three, four pipefish. They're all still alive, so they're all going back. Off you go, mate. The crab can go back. Look at that. And pipefish live in the weed. Great to show the kids. My boy Jet would be so excited to see them. And there's the shrimp. Look at that. There is a bounty out here. You just got to talk to the right people to know how to go and catch it. The most important thing, only ever take what you need for one day's fishing. That is gold. We're going to turn that into some beautiful black bream. We just hook them right in the middle of the... Back there? So he sits like that, yep. and when you put him in the water, you'll he see swims. him start to swim. Mine doesn't want to swim. Oh, there yes, he goes. He oh, yeah. Don't worry, he'll go. <laughs> so now we try and cast as close to the structure as possible? Yeah, just let it drift down, Look probably. Mate. Oh, he's going to drift that way too. Nice. And I'll get out of your way, you can't. No, no, you cast. So in, in that way under the structure? Yep. Now, I might go over the over there yep. and try and pull him over here. Oh, oh. that's nice. I'm fishing. Oh, yep. You oh, I felt him. Then I'm going to fish with a closed bail. So. Come on. I just felt some little bites then. Oh, and he's already, look at that. My prawn's already right around that pole. Oh, I can he's see got, him. He's on, is he? He's on. God, Polly. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't Paul. want that, no, I'm going to back the drag off, go down, oh, how's the size of that thing? Monster. What I'm doing is just fishing a loop of line, and when that braid comes tight, if it comes tight quickly, I know it's a fish. So that didn't work that time, so I'll pull it back like that and I'll let him just go down. You can see a beautiful loop of line, and that is allowing my prawn just to slowly swim down. Gotcha. 
Oh, he's a nice one. Get away from those pylons. Oh, yes, got him away from them. And that is a beautiful brim. Oh, and he's still far from beat. That is a nice brim, mate. And I had to get him out quick. <laughs> not a big one, but... He's not a big one. Compared to the one I just caught, he's tiny. But can I just say... Well done. It was a pleasure bumping you when <laughs> we were having coffee this morning. Main Street. Look at that. Now, that is not a big fish. But, oh, look, it's, we say not a big fish, but to people at home, it's still a big fish. That is a beautiful brim. And he's going to be jumping all over the joint because... Because oh, I winched him in. You've and... got to get him out, though, if they... How magnificent is that? <clears throat> I reckon that's half the size the first oh. milked. Incredible fish. And how good is it when a plan comes together? We've gone and collected our live shrimp. Went and got live prawns last night. Well, I didn't. My good mate did. My brand new best brand friend. Brand new best friend. And that is just gold. I will actually put this fish in the live well and then let him go a bit later so he doesn't spook his mates. But the plan is coming together and I'm pumped. And as I said to Ivan just before, I fish all around the world and my knees are shaking <laughs> over at Gippsland Black Bridge. We've got a stiff easterly breeze blowing right in our face, but man, it's worth it because the fishing here is unbelievable. I just caught a nice brim, and it's really important when you're fishing heavy structure just to check your leader. I've got 12 pound instinct fluorocarbon here and a small eagle claw hook, about a probably size two in an octopus. If I run my finger along there, I can feel that leader is damaged. It's still damaged, still damaged, bits hanging off it, it's still damaged to there. He's taken that through the structure, so I'll cut that off, put the hook back on the end. That way, if we hook a really nice fish, I've got the best opportunity of catching him. So any time you're fishing structure, you catch a fish, always check your leader, because wouldn't you really just like to miss the big one? Oh, speaking of big ones, go hard, go hard. You've got him, you've got him. Go, go, go. Oh, it's, it's, oh you're in big trouble. Oh, it's, trouble, Paul. It's over. No. But all, oh, there's no way you can catch that. You've done it. You are good. You are. Good. Small one. Now, you know, there's only one reason you caught that. Skill. No, I was, think, <laughs> I was thinking luck on No, it. that was skill. Well, I got him out of those pylons there, Mate, Paul. I thought it was all... I didn't go hard on him. That was the well, secret. Well, just explain what you did there for kids watching so they can learn a bit about fishing. Well, he'd he take me around those set of pylons there and rather than keep the pressure on him, I actually... He's only a small fish, so I just let the pressure off so that the leader wouldn't actually get really abrased and, and worn through and he just came out, swam Mate, around and... I saw him make the fatal mistake. He actually turned left and centre right. Exactly. This brim zigged when it should have zagged. Mate, we say a small, small fish, but anyone who comes to lakes is just going to be pumped to catch that, aren't they? Now, Paul, he was on shrimp. He was? Mm. So you did so, a little change up yes. there? Yes. Ah, wouldn't you think you'd tell your mates that <laughs> earlier? Here we go. You're in trouble here. Oh. <laughs> Mate, might be time for a move, eh? I reckon we'll go to the next pier. Because we have had a lot of fish on here. We've lost a few, so they'll be spooked. I'll just get the tangle out of my braid. We'll move on, because I reckon there's plenty more fish. I think we're going to get dusted a few more times. Most of the fish are going to be on this structure here. Okay, well, I reckon if we tie to this one, it'll be perfect. Yep. We'll just drop it off the back corner, eh? They're right here looking at my prawn, right here. So I'm just going to hold this on a short line. Here we go. Oh, now my good mate is on the phone telling his mates that he's on iFish, and I don't mind, because look at that. <laughs> Ivan, we're trying to make some television here. Who is that? That's the skipper of the boat. Hi, skipper. <laughs> look, when you pick up a bloke at a coffee shop, that sort of thing will happen. And how cool is that? Ivan's, Ivan's just telling his mate that he's on iFish and his mate's going, yeah, sure. And I'm just pulling brim that I can actually see come up and crack the prawn. It's one of those special days. I am loving this. Uh, Ivan, we just got uh, a million people at home want to see some television. Any chance you could ring Skipper back later? Yes, correct, right. Bye, bye Skipper, love your work. <laughs> oh, see you, things a bloke's got to do. <laughs> I reckon I should have picked someone else at that coffee shop this morning.
rig is very simple today. It's just four pound fins braid tied to 12 pound instinct fluorocarbon leader. And fluorocarbon really important because it doesn't refract or reflect any light and it's dense so it actually sinks and we need our baits to sink so the big brim can get them. I'll just run to the boat, grab some Yozuri split shot and I've put a very small split shot on my line there, just enough to help that prawn get down a bit. I reckon if I can get down, the small fish are gonna come and have a look, they're gonna dart in and the big one might just get sucked in. We've caught a lot of brim today, it's pretty exciting. If I can get a big one, I might actually pop. How's it going, Ivan? I can't get my prawn down deep enough, Paul, so... I can see him. Yeah, but the fish are under him and they've actually pushed him up, so... Well, OK, well, I've just put a little split shot of mine, so I'm going to just drop him down I'd there. So you're going to... And that split, oh, yeah, it's taking him down. That's what I wanted. And little things make such a big difference in fishing, don't they, Ivan? I think you're in trouble, Paul. I think that's, you're going to get... That's just perfect. You're going to get smashed. Oh, they're looking on. at it. They're looking at it. There's some big fish looking at it, too. OK, just watch my braid. Don't watch the fish. Oh. Yes, he's got it. He's got it. And, yep, I got him. Oh, it's only a small fish, I reckon. It is, it is a small fish, but how's the difference there, Ivan? Straight onto it, Paul. With that bit of split. Straight onto it. And that is amazing. That's just from years of fishing around the place. That little bit of split shot just to get it down. I reckon, I'm just going to let this fish jump around for a second because I reckon this could fire his mates up. Look at his mates underneath in there. Okay, just a lift. And these are quality fish. Look at that. Tell me, you wouldn't be happy. Imagine the smile on your children's face if that was the first fish they ever caught. Seriously, it's this easy. Fish the structure, use fresh or live bait, and just think about your fishing. That is brim gold. <laughs> Go on, Paul, get him out of there, Paul. Oh. You got him out. I got him out. <laughs> oh, I was gone. Now, he's dusted this leader, so it'll probably break on the way up. Hang on, you all right? Look at that. It is just blowing me away, and I've got to apologise to my brand new best friend. That is a cracker brim. <laughs> I'm using fluorocarbon, I'm absolutely smacking him. Look at the way, there's bits hanging off it there, it's frayed. I'm going to put some fluorocarbon leader on his line because no. this is just too much fun and he needs to get into it. Even though he does it every day, he's retired and catches plenty. How cool is that, seriously? Look at that line. Remember that famous knot? Afraid not. Well, how's that for a brace of brim? This is just some of today's catch and we've lost, well, five times as many. What I've done, I've been keeping them in the live well on the boat. I like to let the fish re feel happy, then I take them to a new place a couple hundred metres away, let them go, so they all swim off together. So now, this is the fun part of the day, I just put them in the water and watch them swim away. The good thing about doing this is, the fish go back absolutely fit as. It's like they've been in the oxygen chamber. So I just put that net in the water, and it's just a matter of doing that, and they all just swim away, do their own thing. Look at those big boys, they are off to harass and other lucky anglers that come to Lake's entrance. This is mind blowing. I just can't wait to get back on that pier and get my rod absolutely smashed a few more times. I love it. Well, hopefully we're about to change Ivan's day because we've put the old 12 pound instinct fluorocarbon on, mate. What are your thoughts? Well, I think that I was getting nowhere near as many bites as what you are, and you suggest that I change. Yep. You rig me up, put the prawn on, and we're ready to go. So we'll just see if it does make a difference. Mate, I'm just interested, eh? Hey? Mm. Let's see how we go here. Get it down deep. I hope you get absolutely smoked, mate. Oh, you just had a bite then, I reckon, did you? Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's what it is. Sorry, that's... How's that? As soon as we put fluorocarbon yeah. on, you got smashed. Yeah. You know what? Even though the sun is dropping a little, I reckon we've got more time for another bait. Few shrimp. I'll be back. Yes! Good work, mate. Oh, it's a nice fish too. <laughs> Swing him up to me when you're ready. He's gonna go straight for those piles when he gets That's close. The fluorocarbon. What a difference it makes, mate. It does, you're only a small fish. But probably yeah, it proves yep, exactly what you're saying. Had you ever Spot heard had you ever heard of fluorocarbon for today? I had, but I've never used it. See, you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> now, Ivan, I know it was hard work getting these shrimp, but I reckon that's going to fire them up. Paul, you're now feeding the fish. You're meant to be catching the fish. Well, look, we've caught like 58 of them. I thought maybe we should give them a. Oh, look at the big one coming up to look at that. Oh, look at them. 
Now that what I'm doing is burling him. Oh, look at him. He's taking it. He's there eating without it. A, without a doubt. Now what I'm going to do. See, I was feeding him, but now I'm just going to slip the old prawn in there just for good measure. Well, I think you're and... in trouble, Paul. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of there. Sorry. Oh, he's under the pier. I'm just going to hold him out. He's a big fish. Oh. Nice. I'll get the net, Paul. Uh, thank you, my friend. He is a... Oh, no, no. Stay away from there. I've got to just keep him away. Oh. oh my rod's seven foot two. This is a big bream. I think it's the fish of the day so far, apart from the one that smashed me earlier. Where's the net? She's coming, son. <laughs> I'll bring him over to the net. He's a nice fish. Keep his head out of the water. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I love when a plan comes together. That's a nice fish, eh? Hey? Well, how good is that? I'm going to take my sunnies off so I can see these people. Now, Ivan, do you have children? Yes, two girls. I don't ask people to do this very often, but would you swear on your children's life that when I met you this morning was the first time you've ever seen me in your life. Without a doubt. Well, can I just say something I reckon is pretty special? If I had to come up to you this morning and said, oh, g'day, do you want to go shopping or do you want to go chop some water, go motorbike ride, and you probably would have thought, what's this bloke about? But when you talk about fishing, it's universal, isn't oh, it? You just want to share. Yeah, and you make good friends and you yeah, make new relationships and it's all good. I always say, fishing is about faces and places. And guess what? I've got some bad news for you, Ivan. You're coming back again. As of today, <laughs> we're going to be lifelong friends, my friend. How good is that? He's a nice fish.